long as you say my name Every time I break you off, girl, I What you want on off camera because I don't have one of those mini UV lights where I could do each finger um, individually although I did do them individually I have like the bigger UV light so it was a struggle having to put both of my hands in the UV light while holding on to one of my fingers on this hand so I put them on off camera and then now I'm going in with my builder gel in the shade nude that I got from Savvyland so I'm going in with that in the shade nude and just building up the nails. So I'm going to go ahead and do all these nails, all five of my fingers. And then I'm going to go back in with a, another layer, but a very thin layer because you don't want the nail to be too bulky or hard to shape. Because if it's too bulky, yeah, you can work with it. But you don't want it to be too bulky. So only do two coats. You could get away with three, but only do two coats. So right now, I'm just building that up. The first layer, it could be thick. That's okay. But the second layer, just make sure that it's thin. Like, it doesn't have to be thin as possible. Make sure it's thinner than the first layer that you used. So I know you guys are probably wondering like when did she start posting nail content so the cat's out of the bag I know how to do like so much stuff to where like I want to like incorporate it like on this channel but it's like sometimes I be feeling like I don't um, know how but I'm at the point where I just want to go for it like any decision that I don't make is just as important as any decision that I do make so I'm just gonna make the decision and just start dropping all these videos for y'all of course it's gonna be organized but I think my true passion is really like nails but I think I'm still gonna be doing like hair videos of course but I think my main focus is gonna be like nails because I really enjoy doing nails like it's like art you could do like many different things anything I do is art but I feel like you guys should let me know Comment down below like what you guys think about me transitioning this channel into a nail channel because I think I'm going to go for it. I think I'm going to go for it because why not? Why not? So right here you just see me doing the second layer I feel like it makes a big difference because with the first layer due to the fact that you have to like go back and like move some of the product around in order to like coat the whole nail it leaves like scarce areas so we don't want that so we just go back in with that second coat to ensure that everything is real nice and copacetic because you don't want your nails to be very spacious looking especially if you're doing a french design the nail bed it has to be very 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 pigmented like very coated Okay. 
So to file, I use an 8080 grit file because what other than an 8080 grit file am I supposed to use? So sometimes I use a 100, 180 grit file when um, I don't want to like take too much off of the top or like I'm trying to get like a very precise straight edge tip instead of like the C curve. And now when I do C curves, I use the E file instead of a, um, a hand file because sometimes when I do it with the hand file, it just makes it uneven. It comes out uneven sometimes when I do it with the um, E file because I think I'll be having my power turned up too high sometimes. But I notice like, I don't like how it comes out when I do it with a hand file or I'll just do it with the hand file first and then I go in with um, the e file to clean it up so I'm just going in with my 8080 grit hand file right now to shape the nails and then I'm gonna go in with my e file to clean everything up and then I'm gonna buff them I started to clean my cuticles right before it was time to buff and I just made sure that everything was nice and clean up. So for the pointer finger and my middle finger, I don't know why but I just be loving those two fingers the most. That and the thumb. Those two fingers and the thumb. I don't know why I love those fingers so much. I don't know. It's like they come out more crispier in my eyes, in my opinion. I don't know. I really don't know. So right now, I just have a sanding bit on my e-file, and I'm just going in to create a C-curve. I don't know why. I think it's, like, the position of my camera. But the position of my camera, it made it look like I did it uneven. I don't know why. Like, at the top. Like, I don't know why it did that. But right now, I'm just creating a um, C-curve or a moon curve with my e-file. And I had it on mid, um, cause on my e file, um, it's min and max, so where you could like turn it and then it goes forward and reverse. And I have the J Whitney professional drill machine. I have that one. I got it from Amazon. So I had it like on the fourth bar, and then I'm just. 
creating a C curve or a moon curve with that. And it's a sanding bit. I don't use anything other than a sanding bit to create my file. So I'm just doing that so that we can get ready and prepared to buff. So this is me just buffing my nails and I must admit they came out super duper gorgeous and I love this color. I have to get some more of this builder gel because I'm definitely running out. So right now I'm just preparing all the pinks that um, I want to use for my design. I got most of these polishes from Amazon and I'm going to link them down in the, in the description bar below so that you guys could go get you some. And surprisingly, not even surprisingly, I'm over here surprised talking about some. I'm running up, I'm running out of pink nail polish when I already know why. But it's okay. So for the French, I'm just going in with my darkest pink, my hot pink, and that that was the model one's color. So I'm just going in with that one first to create my French, and I'm using the A method to create my French as well. So after 
you're done putting polish on your nails, I think it's mandatory to go in and wipe with some alcohol. I don't think it matters what percentage, but wipe it with some alcohol and not acetone. Acetone will like make it bleed more and remove most of the work that you've done. So I think it's mandatory to wipe your nails with alcohol before doing anything else applying base coat top coat whatever it is always wipe your nails so right now i'm just going in to create my milo monkey from bape this is a bape design so i go in with this brown polish from i think this is a beetle's polish every polish that i use is going to be linked down in the description bar below because i don't know them off the back of my head right now so I'm going in with like a darker brown for like the Milo skin color and then I'm going to go in with a lighter brown to create his facial features. So I'm using a dotting tool as you can see. Some people they use like the thin liner brushes but me personally for some designs I just can't do it. I don't think so. Like maybe I'll learn and become more comfortable with it like as I go but for like the bigger shapes and sizes faces and all the things that um people create for nails on nails i can't see myself using a brush yet so right now i'm just creating the face shape and his head size and then I'm just gonna go in and create his body with the nail brush and his facial features with the lighter brown and a dotting tool as well. My goal for this video is about 10k views and maybe 5k likes. We're probably going to do more numbers than that. So right now I'm just creating Milo's body and I think I made, well his head is naturally bigger than his body, but I feel like I made his body too long. The um, inspiration picture that I seen, his body was like shorter. Then his head, like his head was bigger, but his body was like shorter. So I'm just creating his body now with that same brown from my Beatles polish collection. And like I said, all the polishes that I've used in today's video will be linked in the description bar below. So make sure you guys go and check that out so that you don't miss any details or any products used in this video. So now I'm just filling in his body. And then we're gonna cure that for 60 seconds. I don't think I've I told you guys how long I cure for. I cure for 60 seconds in my sun UV lamp. So that's what I, that's what we're gonna do after the body is nice and filled in. a really fun time creating these nails because I draw but when I started drawing on nails it was kind of like a shock because I never thought that I would be able to draw on something like so small like a nail canvas is just it's just different from like paper but on Instagram there's a woman she does nails too and her Instagram name is nails by dev she be going off okay like the nail art that she creates is insane. Like she draws anything on nails and that's what I plan to achieve one of these days. As long as I keep going at it, like I know I'm gonna be nice just like her. Cause she, what? Like y'all, y'all have to go check out her page. Like it's just, it's just mind blowing. Like what? She be drawing like so much stuff and it's just like so motivational cause I really want to do stuff like that you know how like top tier you have to be in order to draw on nails the way she does she just do it like it's paper like it's nothing 
like what it's just so amazing to see stuff like that and that's like motivation because how do you even how did you even do that and it'd be so vibrant and like lively like it just makes it like she just makes it look like it's gonna jump off the nail and like come sit on your shoulder like it's just so beautiful and that's the heights i wish to reach someday because she she be going off I believe that with nail art, when you add that black polish to the nail art, it just brings it together. Like, what is nail art without black polish? Like, just look at that. I bet some of y'all didn't even know what I was going to do until I said Milo 1 and 2 until I outlined it with the black. Because, what? Look how that's coming together, you guys. That's amazing. That's amazing. On my ring finger, I took the lightest pink that I had to create the Bape Star. So I used my um, liner brush for this one, my liner art brush for this one, because I couldn't do that with a dot into the um, ends. It had to be like sharp looking. I 
So for this design, for the pinky nail, the pointer finger, and the thumb, that's where I'm doing like the camel design. So to do the camel design, I use a dotting tool as well. But it's basically just like doing cow print, but instead of like doing it like spacious and separate, you do them overlapping each other. So when I got to doing this design, I realized like I didn't really have like bright pinks except for the one that I used to do the ring finger design and then I had another neon pink and then it was like this other pink that I had but it was kind of looking similar to the pink that we have on the uh, French so I had to go in with some purple to give it like that extra pop so that it just wouldn't look you know monochrome pink just plain so I had to go in there with some darker colors to make sure that the design is like really popping so you just see me doing that with my dotting tool So now the nails are just about done and I'm about to go in with my Beatles base coat and for top coat um, it's gonna be linked in the description but I think it's called gel polish like that specific brand I got that from Amazon so I'm going in with my Beatles base coat and then I'm gonna go in with my gel polish top coat and then the look will be complete so I hope you guys enjoyed this video Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and thank you for tuning into today's video. Stay tuned for more because, like I said, I'm going to be dropping more nail videos for you guys. So comment down below some nail looks or designs that you would like to see me do in the comments down below. So, once again, thank you guys for watching today's video. If you're new here, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you're not new here, thank you for returning again. And bye. I'll see you guys on the next new video.